Well, Neil, Gloucester this weekend returned to Premiership actions. Uh, must be a confident mood in the camp. Yeah, I mean, confidence is very high. Obviously, we had a great last uh, fixture against Sale to pick up the maximum points. Um, is obviously uh, very good for morale, and uh, yeah, we're in a good place. So yeah, we're really looking forward to going up uh, to Gloucester. You've had the chance to recharge the batteries over the last couple of weeks. I'd imagine it was much needed for you boys, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a few um, tired bodies, shall we say? But now nah, that's part and parcel of the game. Um, this has obviously given us a massive opportunity to have a little rest and give those a uh, few knocks a little bit of time and a little bit of recovery so no it's been a uh, much needed rest but obviously we're all chomping at the bit to get back into premiership action it's likely to be a full house at king's home and that uh, as players that's what you want to play packed houses and, and big west country derbies like this yeah i mean to be fair anyone that's played at king's home uh, you know that it's a very hostile place uh, the crowd probably aren't going to be greeting us too well but yeah that's you know it's part and parcel it's what we're used to um, and yeah you want to play in front of a crowded house so yeah we'll be looking forward to it. Rob's talked about it being the business end of the season now and uh, we've got a lot to play for we're, we're in the top six of the Premiership uh, a European quarter final on the, on the doorstep as well uh, as players again something that you, you really relish? Oh, of course it is I mean the position that we're in is fantastic and if we would have you know we definitely would have said we would have taken this spot this time of year last year but yeah like you say we're looking up uh, not looking down uh, not the pressures off because obviously we, like you say we've got got five more fixtures and you know who, who knows if we pick up another couple of wins we could be right at the top of things. What are you expecting from Gloucester this weekend? Um, probably a backlash from the week before <laughs> where they didn't do too well against Leicester. Um, yeah no they're a great side and they're a different animal at home uh, we know that and um, that's the way that we've got to approach it. It's a massive game for them and it's a massive game for us. So we'll go up there, we're not going to be sitting back, we're going to go to attack the game and look to look to try and make a bit of an upset at Kingsland. The last game here against Sale, five tries and, and a lot of free-flowing rugby. Are we expecting something similar up there? I'd like to say so, but being a slow, dumpy forward, probably ain't going to come from me. <laughs> but um, no, I mean, yeah, it was fantastic to see uh, the backs getting you know some time on the ball and it shows you what they can do with a bit of space so yeah we're definitely looking to attack it the, the game um, and the more flow and rugby we can get the better I know in the past some pundits have labeled us just a forward orientated team but I suppose that performance kind of put that to bed yeah it did a little bit but it's quite frustrating when you read the press and you see things in the news and it's okay when Saracens and Leicester grind out a 9-0 win you know, it was great rugby, they played it well, but when we do it, we're boring and it's just the forwards winning again and Nacho kicking the goals. So, you know, they've got to make up their mind really, but yeah, we'll take a win whichever way we can and obviously we want to give the crowd something to cheer about, but at the end of the day, a win's a win.